So Plane is this really cool uh, project management software from the future, as they call them. So they're like this really awesome tool which you can manage your projects and you can kind of like track all your issues. And I know Arjun is here to tell you more about it. So I invite Arjun to talk more about how it, you know, they're enabling, making project management really easier for project managers and product managers out there with Plane. So basically, like if you have used Jira, Linear, so it is an alternative of them, but it's an open source tool. And a lot better UX wise, I'll say. So feel free to try that. So I have been at Plane for the past one year and it has been a very exciting journey. I am, I am enjoying every bit of it. So speaking of Plane, a lot of you might be wondering what Plane is all about. Uh, so let's dive into the what, why and how of Plane. So what's Plane? To keep it simple, Plane is a project management tool which helps you simplify tracking and managing tasks. I know there are a lot of tools out there in the vast sea of project management, but there's a story behind it. So before getting into that story, by a simple raise of hands, how many of you have been using of or ever have used a project management tool? Okay, I see quite a few hands there. And uh, so let's get into that story, why we felt the need for a new and better solution. To answer this, uh, let me take you back to when pandemic hit and remote jobs became a norm. There was a need for collaboration and communication m most of us were not used to before. Uh, consultancies started using all sorts of tools for to communicate, build and deliver better. We were one of them. We had projects and teams to manage. Uh, we tried all sorts of tools and without naming any names, you can think of something that rhymes with Bira, the beer. So, uh, however, uh, this shift brought flexibility. Uh, it surfaced challenges and we started noticing gaps. The tool which we had been using uh, suddenly started to feel cramped and that was the point when our founders thought there was a need for something better, something modern, something which just wasn't like any other tool out there. And with this need, the desire for simplicity and robustness, plane began to take shape. And instead of looking for a solution out there, uh, here we are uh, building one. Uh, long story short, uh, we are a team of 17 people uh, working hard to build plane. So uh, let me just quickly walk you through uh, what all plane provides you with. Uh, so starting with the basic uh, things such as issues, uh, sprints, aka we call them uh, cycles. You have epics or uh, as we call them modules. We are not just simply going with uh, the basic issue layouts like the boring list and con uh, the Kanban view, but we also provide you with all sorts of layouts such as the spreadsheet, the Gantt or timeline view, the calendar views, and we have some interesting things coming around like uh, different app integrations, uh, APIs, webhooks, inbox, the plain AI, and a lot more. So how did we go from recognizing this idea to actually addressing it? Uh, talking about it, it has got two aspects to it, uh, starting with the product design decisions. We adopted the philosophy of first principle thinking, which is basically deconstructing a problem into its most basic and uh, fundamental elements and building things from ground up. While uh, different apps uh, try to fit in all the use cases, uh, uh, common sense had unfortunately become a luxury for the users, which comes at the cost of user experience. So uh, while building our product, we made sure uh, to keep it user friendly, accessible and emphasize on the principle, it should just work. And UX so simple, even my mom could use it without any help. So now we made sure to keep the learning curve of plane so flat, it would seem like a straight line and, it, and in all of its essence, we, our design philosophy, philosophy is all about uh, understanding the users, simplifying features, and ensuring managing projects feels intuitive and effortless. So now talking about the technical uh, design of Plane, all the developers who might be feeling a little sleepy, like it's the time to get activated. So engineering at Plane was one of the most interesting things. Uh, choosing an effective and uh, efficient solution, uh, efficient tech stack uh, presented us with a lot of exciting results and challenging trade-offs, which we will delve into later. 
but for now let's uh, dive into what is the tech stack uh, that we have been using we have kept it pretty simple with nextjs in the front end and django as our back end framework with postgres as a relational db now there were a lot of discussions around whether to use javascript as a holistic language for front end and back end but ultimately we went with django as for many many reasons like django being a modular and batteries included framework whether you talk about security auth layer or a powerful orm it has got everything built in and do i need to talk about the awesome community support as of next years our decision was pretty straightforward because we wanted to work with uh, react uh, react providing us with an extensive ecosystem of open source com components and utilities this significantly significantly reduced the development time uh, as we did uh, as we could simply rely upon well trusted solutions for basic things like ui components like a date picker charts package models or drop downs and even complex user interactions such as drag and drop form managers and validations this simply means we didn't have to reinvent the wheel additionally our team had a considerable amount of experience with these frameworks so that also played a big role in uh, our decision making process i know a lot of you might not be on the same page with us uh, but it is completely fine as uh, we are very confident with the choices we have made and they are proving to be very effective for us while uh, we have gone with battle tested frameworks like uh, Django and Next.js for our core systems. We are also expo exploring uh, frameworks like Tauri for our desktop and mobile applications. Uh, the work for which is still in progress, and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. So stay tuned uh, for all the updates on that. Now, coming to the ethos that powers Plain, open source. Choosing to open source was one of the best decisions we have ever made. Uh, open sourcing allows us to work more effectively towards the goal fostering a collaborative environment to developing the most effective solution for tracking and traceability while uh, we have made it open source along with that we also had to keep in mind that users should be able to self host plain along with other hosted uh, other hosted applications and while it still continues to give them that same enterprise experience so open sourcing was not just a trendy swim but uh, it stems from uh, various uh, convictions such as performance so it's not just us the people who work at plain who build it uh, we have a pooled expertise of contributors uh, maybe you are just beginning with open source or maybe you have had your hair turn gray here projects keep on getting refined and enhanced and hence performant flexibility so flexibility uh, like proprietary softwares uh, often lock users into specific ecosystems but by open sourcing we have made sure that plain is adaptable moldable and free from such constraints security uh, obviously since our code base is exposed to the world and under the naked eye of the community vulnerabilities are spotted quicker and solutions are devised even faster cost efficiency of course so maybe you are not you do not want to buy plain it or maybe you are not sure about it you can always self host it we have made the self hosting process pretty seamless uh, and deployment can be done with minimal available infrastructure like two cpus or maybe some 4 to 8 gigs of ram that's it we started our open sourcing journey in uh, on 19th november last year and since then we have uh, since that first public commit we have seen a lot of growth growth not just in the product but growth in community engagement improvements and even bug reports for the first few months uh, we those few months were very crucial for us as we kept on uh, we were on the stealth mode and we kept on uh, maintaining a core value of consistency consistency in terms of our releases and we had just one goal stability of the product while we were consistently releasing stuff uh, as of this march 2023 uh, we started talking and sharing about our product uh, which uh, and all this while we were backed by five releases with all of the il uh, very elaborated release notes bug fixes improvements prs all of them and as of now till date plain uh, sits at around 
plane is at its uh, currently it's at its 14th release and sitting at around 18k stars making us the most popular and start project management tool out there yeah so i i think that counts for an applause please <laughs> So uh, while all of this, uh, we have the decisions we made uh, paved the way for some thrilling highs and have had their own set of challenges. Now, when you cha uh, talk about the exciting results or uh, the thrilling highs, uh, we have laid a very solid foundation with a stable cloud version sit, uh, used by around 20,000 users who have created 17,000 workspaces and we are actively refining our self-hosted version. The, with the tech stack we chose, we have been able to pull off a very extremely fast-paced development cycle as Next.js and Django provide a very extensive ecosystem for better collaboration and development. Next.js being a solid framework uh, with robustness and a way to develop modern web applications using React. Django being a very good backend framework with uh, a wealth of libraries and tools. And coming to the next point, uh, we have limited the number of microservices by uh, uh, just for the reason of simplicity, not making it too complex. Uh, by doing that, we have made sure that there are fewer interdependent sources, making sure that there are fewer points for failures and which also accumulates the path for a, a simple debugging process. Now, while everything looks shiny on the outside, we have had our own challenges. So, including uh, some hardships to deal with external paths like developing a developer API around plane as we are dealing with enter enterprise level scalability, uh, real-time implementation, and some many more uh, challenges. Uh, in the space of these challenges, we have emerged stronger and more determined than ever. Each obstacle became an opportunity for innovation and pushing us to develop creative solutions and refine our approach. So to uh, conclude it all, we all, we are trying to find an answer to a very frustrating question when it comes to project management. There's got to be a better way and we are that better way, at least trying to be. Uh, while the decisions we have made, uh, we have kept them uh, sometimes deliberate, sometimes cheeky. Uh, we have kept them pretty straightforward, yet uh, simple. And uh, if you ask me honestly, uh, what uh, I I often ask myself this question: So why am I at plane? Why all of us here are at plane? So I think the answer is uh, resounding. It's you, the community. Every bit of feedback, every nod of approval, even criticism fuels us. Uh, folks from different corners. Uh, engaging with it, uh, appreciating plane is genuinely very warming and believe me, while we have come a long way, we are just getting started. Soon uh, we will be releasing our general availability version and uh, apart, unlike the other releases, this release is gonna be a peek into the future we are trying to build. So as we take this next step, uh, join us, be a part of it, uh, sign up on plane, interact with it, share your insights, maybe you have a feature on your mind, or maybe you have, you, uh, there's a bug you have spotted, uh, we are all yours. Uh, you, you don't even have to tell us, just raise a PR, uh, we'll get it merged. So yeah, that was it about plane. Uh, that was plane in a nutshell. Uh, I have a pun in my mind, but I don't think it will land, so yeah. We have an active Discord community as well, so you can join the server and uh, engage with the fellow users. Along with that, uh, here's a QR code. You can uh, scan it and go to our all our for social handles. Uh, communicate with, stay updated on the blog post. How did we get this far so quickly? We are gonna release a blog post on that because consistency is in the only key. There are a lot of secret sources behind that. So yeah, we'll be releasing a blog post soon on that as well. And if you have any questions, uh, uh, I also have, um, also accompanied by our very senior principal engineer Manish here. We'll be very happy to have a chat with you. Yeah, so that was plain in a nutshell. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if anyone has any questions. Okay, uh, I don't see any. So yeah, uh, we'll be around, uh, happy to have a talk. Thank you. <laughs>